I thank you for choosing to read or listen to this thought on the parasha. Before you began, you may have looked to see how many paragraphs it is, or how many minutes it will take to play. The subtext to this moment of doubt is that time will go and never come back. There is a question as to whether doing this or that will be time well spent. In thinking this way, we may be falling into a false but widespread thought pattern. Spending time suggests that, like a match, time once used can no longer be reclaimed. It is a spent force. Yet the Torah offers a different view of time altogether. To understand time, we must also understand ourselves. We are used to thinking of ourselves as being basically the same and changing imperceptibly day to day, year to year. We are used to time as being the medium wherein we can start and end processes, stumbling and damaging or achieving and progressing. But the Ari taught that the reality is both more profound and more challenging. The very existence of any individual means that they can contribute something to humanity and the cosmos that no one before has ever been called upon to do and that no one could ever do as well as them. The fact that we are created in our own time and find ourselves in our particular neighbourhood with our own backgrounds, circumstances, resources and abilities means that this is the best context for us to fulfil our individual missions. Now we can understand the Jewish view of time. One of the Hebrew words for time is zman, which also means to designate or invite. Our divine calling is not a monolithic enterprise that we revisit day by day. Each day is a new zman, God's designation of us to fulfil that day's particular spiritual purpose. Each new day is a divine invitation for us to achieve our mission for that day. This brings a sense of urgency and importance to our lives. Yesterday's and tomorrow's tasks will always be different from today's. Since yesterday, we have changed and the world has changed. Now we are our new selves. There are new challenges and needs and our duty for this day can only ever be done now. Perhaps when we use a day well, growing through its challenges, doing what we have to do, that day is immortalised. It becomes ours, a day of goodness that we have created, a possession that brings eternal luster to our souls and eternal love between us and the Almighty. Only when we squander a day on trivia and distraction will it slip through our fingers and be gone forever. Only then is a day truly spent. This, perhaps, is what the Torah means when it says, Abraham zakein ba bayamim, and Abraham was old, coming with the days. Avraham brought with him every day that he had ever lived, because he had both the vision to understand what he was called to do each day, and the strength to achieve the day's goals. Whether it was rescuing his nephew Lot in the face of overwhelming odds, or offering his beloved son as a sacrifice, or burying his dear wife with dignity and love, Avraham never faltered. None of us knows how many days we have left, and it is not always easy to read a situation and decide what should be done. But wherever we are in life's great journey, we can aspire to use our time like Avraham did. Like him, we can ensure that today at least is a day well used, a day when we know what the Torah requires of us and how we will meet that requirement, a day to be plucked out of the river of time, a day that will never be spent.